So in the past position, we have the page of wands, and the page of wands is in the reverse position. So once again, pages are all messengers. And in this situation, I definitely feel that it could be a fire sign. This could be a fire sign that is um, that you're potentially dealing with. This could be news coming through from a fire sign, and I do feel that... Um, not the fact that it's a fire sign, but be because it's a page in the reverse position, it indicates to me some type of, um, it wasn't news that was directed at you or at, you know, a, a partner that you're dealing with, but it's kind of news circulating in your mist. And uh, you're trying to get to the heart of whether or not these news are, um, are based on valid sources or if there's even any validity to these news, these rumors, these gossips that are coming through. I, I'm not getting so much gossip. I do feel that it's just, you know, um, people are not actively gossiping, but I do feel it's kind of like news, that news, some type of information that has been filtered out through multiple sources. So right now you don't really know the origin. It could just be, you know, information that you're getting from a lot of different sources and you have to extract what is fact from fiction and figure out what is truthful, what is just hearsay. So that's what I'm sensing. And crowning this reading, we have the Ten of Swords. So you're not feeling very hopeful about the situation. And I do feel, you know, it, things are going to turn around. There's still a lot of uh, anxiety, a lot of fears associated with this in the present situation. But through the last week of the month, this situation will clear up. So keep in mind with the Ten of Swords here, it, it seems to me as if there is definitely a lot of mental energy, a lot of information sifting through. You might feel like a little bit overwhelmed with all the differing ideas, points of view that you have to take into account. As a result of it, you feel a little bit inundated by having to accommodate all these people, all these energies coming through. Because what we have here is a pentacles uh, suit and also a fire suit. And a lot of sword energies also indicates to me a lot of uh, information coming through, not directly, but, you know, indirectly from other people that where you have to re-examine or fix the things that you've been doing. And as a result of it, you feel very inundated, okay? Um, in the Rider weight deck, this is a, a, a card that signifies, you know, being stabbed in the back. In this deck, I do feel that we have a similar connotation, but this is a crowning energy, so this is something that is in your thoughts, which means it's mental energy that is being multiplied, and you're thinking to yourself, um, you're you're in a state of worry, anxiety, panic, and I do sense that a lot of it has to do with people around you. For those of you, okay, so at the base of this reading, we have the Seven of Swords, and this is somebody kind of sneaking away into the night and they've been caught, okay? It's in the reverse. So I do feel that their presence, their acts of indiscretion is being made known to everybody. So I do feel that, I do feel that there's something going on here where you, you are, if you are the one, if this is, this character represents you, there's definitely a lot of pain and anxiety happening in your presence right now. So just be careful for the next two weeks. Don't do anything that you're not supposed to. Just, you know, take the, my advice to heart and try not to do... I mean, it's good advice in life in general, but I do feel for the energy of this week, there's something that is being found out, okay? For those of you who are working in a very strong, rigid institution... We have the Hierophant in the reverse position. So a lot of you might be in a work situation or in a romantic front. Um, you could be romantically involved with somebody that you work with because we have the, the Hierophant. We also have the Pentacles card. A lot of Pentacles, which indicates to me possibly doing something you're not supposed to and your partner in crime is possibly a uh, an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Either that or there is a situation regarding a fire sign. And I feel that, you, I feel like it can go both ways. Like um, you involved with a, an earth sign, another earth sign, or you involved with a fire sign. So I'm sensing a lot of court cards, a lot of people coming through. So if this is something that you're dealing with, some kind, kind of um, problem on the work front where you feel like you might be able to cut corners without, you know, people going up in arms about it, when in fact, 
procedurally they want you to do things a very very specific way and if you've been cutting corners then I do feel that um, your actions are coming up for review okay so just be very careful the next two two weeks um, this is a an interesting month because um, your overall energy for the beginning of the month is very very different so I I do hope that you know I, I do feel that you're the one that is uh, on the up and up in this situation so you might be covering for somebody else, possibly a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, that has been dealing with this. And as a result of it, um, you might have news about this other person in your work environment or in your the romantic front where you feel very unrattled because the advice here we have is the two of coins. This is basically, you know, trying to balance things, trying to keep your emotion in check, trying to rein in your feelings, and at the same time trying to arrive at a middle ground. So don't take any drastic action in one direction or the other. Just maintain the equilibrium, maintain balance, and try to juggle things, okay? So f another uh, way that I'm looking at this too is... Um, if there is a relationship and you're getting news and things like that, um, you want to, so for example, if you're in a relationship with someone and there was a history of indiscretion on their end or on your end, and um, a lot of gossip and rumors and things like that are circulating back in, I feel that it would be in your best interest to have open communication, okay? Because um, you're dealing with that other person. You're not dealing with the, the people who are giving you, you know, the gossip and the rumors and the, the information. So know who it is that you're dealing with and try to arrive at a solution rather than jump to conclusions. Is, is what I'm sensing with the two of coins. It's about balance. Hearing facts from both sides and, you know, trying to play like devil's advocate, trying to get at the truth. And the truth, it's multifaceted. So it's really important for you to take the time to really dig out and flush out the truth for this, um, the rest of this month. What's external to you, interestingly, we have the page of wands reversed, but now we have the knight of wands upright. So external to you is a fire sign and possibly this person coming back in, in a different manner. So I definitely see a reversal in the way that this fire sign is um, projecting his or her energy in your life. So in the past, they might have been, you know, just um, very hot-headed. I feel like they've learned their lesson, so they're trying to come in, come in in a calmer manner and in a more straightforward, in a more loving but open open-minded manner is what I'm sensing so it's um if this is somebody that has been you know causing problems in the past or that you've had like a a very bad history with I definitely feel that they're coming back in simply to offer you you know some type of some type of a um to make some type of a gesture it could be reconciliatory or it can be a romantic gesture, but I definitely feel them kind of circulating and hovering around you, okay? In terms of your hopes and fears, we have the Ace of Wands, which indicates, you know, that, that ignition of passion, reigniting the passion that you once had, feeling very passionate, feeling very... Um, whatever situation you've dealt with in the past, I feel that, you know, it was very, very work oriented. And now there is a distraction coming through on the work front, possibly, or just in your social circle, where you're feeling revitalized again. So the, the past situation, all the sword energy, all the mental energy, if there has been an argument with a fire sign, especially, you've been burying yourself in work. And you've been trying to, you know, stay low and just to to keep yourself busy, keep your mind off these things. And every once in a while, it, it would come back and you would think about the other person. But I do feel that in this general reading, they're coming back in and you're hoping for some type of a reconciliation or a rekindling. All right. In terms of uh, the outcome here, we do have, once again, Eight of Wands, which indicates to me a lot of you is, uh, will be, there's going to be communication. There's going to be a lot of communication coming from you to the other person or the other person towards you because the way I'm looking at this is they're heading towards each other so this is where you're inevitably going to end up by the end of this month okay some type of offer is on the table and I do feel with the knight of cups it is in it is usually a romantic gesture a romantic offer and you're very giddy and you're very 
willing and receptive to this offer. To You're very willing and receptive to receiving this offer. So I, I do feel that no matter what the outcome position indicates to me, that it is heading in that direction, okay? At the same time, when it comes to new relationships, new love, new job situation, there's still an element of anxiety associated with it where, you know, that butterflies in your stomach, that sense of newness, that sense of, um, you know, like awkwardness, like what should I do and that anticipation. So this is a normal buildup, okay? And what it seems to me is that there is definitely an offer and I feel like everyone is talking about it and everyone is in, you know, in your business and they're telling you here's what you should do here's what to avoid and things like that and because of it it's feeding onto your anxiety okay I feel that as an earth sign you are very very rational I've seen so many um, Capricorn male female clients and Capricorns are just so grounded and so so rational and I, I'm sensing that you know just go about your rational way because it's the people around you the people that you're getting your information from they might mean you know the best they, they might w want the best for you but in the process of meddling in your affairs it just seems to me as if they're creating a lot of unnecessary anxieties okay my advice is follow your heart because all this mental energy is not conducive to making the right decision. So go about it from a heart-based perspective, okay? What I'm getting here at the center of this reading is the Seven of Coins. And this indicates to me a labor of love. It's something that we've been investing our time, our resources, our attention to for quite some time. And it is a very, very balanced card in this spread. And at the heart of it is you have this beating this this heart on the ground that is sustaining everything okay so my advice here is follow your heart if things I feel like things are very very balanced and just for this month there is there might be questions there might be doubts circulating in your midst regarding the situation but it is going to pan out in your favor because I do feel that it is a labor of love. It is something that is built upon by both parties in equal amount, okay? So I don't sense innate imbalances or anything like that. So that's what I want you to really keep in mind. So once again, the advice here is the two of coins, which indicates to me balance, which indicates hearing both sides of the story, which indicates, you know, don't jump to conclusion. Because if you realize he's standing on a lizard, if he were to jump to conclusions, like metaphorically or literally, he would drop the pentacle, so don't drop the ball on this, okay? Just um, ride it out. And I definitely feel um, some type of closure, conclusion coming through, possibly not by the end of this month, but um, beginning into December. I'm actually going to pull out another card about this Nine of Swords and see where the anxiety is coming from. Um, for a lot of you, it might just be, you know, you have a friend, who is very energetic, who gets him or herself in multiple failed relationships, you know, in succession, like one after the other. And it's somebody who's very dear to you. And they're telling you, I am going to make a proposal to this person that I know I'm not supposed to date or I know I shouldn't get into a business partnership with. And you're trying to warn them against it. So it could play out like that as well. And the advice here with the pain and anxiety that you're feeling, the, the worries and the anxiety, it's out of your control. It's out of your control. So you have to let it play out, okay? So the Nine of Swords showed up as an outcome. It's sort of like a third party feeling very worried because they're looking at the situation like two people coming together who might not be right for one another because it's innately water and fire energy. So they're on the sidelines thinking like, oh my gosh, I don't think it's going to work out. I hope they are, um, you know, protected and things like that. But um, the advice here is that if it's a friend of yours, people need to make, you know, their own decisions, okay? They have to live their lives. That's what our soul contracts are for. We, we set the lessons that we're supposed to learn ahead of time. And it is in our best interest to learn the lessons ourselves with very little interference from other people. So this situation is out of your control. Just let it play out. Just follow your heart, let it play out, okay? And um, 
I don't feel any harm associated with it because most of the sword energy is in the past anyways. And if you, you follow your heart and your intuition, you will know what's the best strategy um, as to how to protect yourself or how to detach yourself if it doesn't concern you, all right? 